Hey, welcome to the Crafty Music Tips channel. My name is Crafty, and in this video, I'm going to hang out with Chloe Castledine from Sing It Live. We're going to chat about the song Fame. We're going to actually watch the video and react to it. So, without any further ado, let's hang out, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Thank you for joining me right now. This is going to be fun. Hi, Crafty. I feel like the people that check out the Sing It Live videos hardcore every mm. week without fail are going to enjoy you and I just hanging out, talking about the song, talking about us as like-minded music. Yes. I, and I figure that if you and I can watch the video and do a reaction to it as well, yeah. then okay. that'll be something else to add to the experience as well because All I've right. never done that and nobody else has. So it's you and me doing this for the very first time. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll give really big reactions. <gasps> Can you tell me and the lovely people watching, who is Chloe and how did you get into this madness? Ah, madness of music or madness of Sing It Live? <laughs> oh, a bit of both. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. My name's Chloe Castledine, and I am a, what am I, Crafty? I'm a singer. I'm a producer. I produce shows here in Adelaide, South Australia, and I manage an, like an entertainment company, which is a bit fun. <laughs> and so that's just full on. I'm a mum of two girls and a wife of a very, very delicious man. <laughs> and, um, been married for 15 years, I think. So how the hell do you juggle all of that? Um, with great difficulty. <laughs> if I was going to be really honest with you, look, I just make things up as I go and I just, I've gotten better over the last few years of managing the time and not everything was so full on all the time. I mean, my oldest child, she's nine years old now, so I was pretty busy when she was born, went straight back into work five days later. After giving birth, that's wow. funny. But I did it. I still, you know, you, you run your own business, you're self-employed, you've got to just get back into work. So, um, but then slowly, slowly, you know, I'd get another contract, do another show or I'd do some more gigs and slowly, slowly you start to prioritise what gigs I do take, how many shows I take on to produce and slowly, slowly you, you stretch a little bit so you can take on more. Um, but then you're also a bit pickier with what you choose to do. I choose not to run. <laughs> Speaking of being picky, <laughs> how did you get into the madness which is Sing It Live? Darren was the first person that ever recorded me. I won a competition when I was 16, 17. It was a long time ago. And I won a session with Darren at the time and he recorded my very first song and it was my very first time laying down a vocal and it was lovely. So we kept in contact for years after that. Then I made friends with Nikki through just being in the music industry in Adelaide. And so over the years she was like, you need to put Chloe in. And he's like, I know, I've been, I, I know Chloe, I've known her for years and I've got my eye on her. And so we just got talking and he lives down the road from me. Oh, really? Yeah. So I could literally put my sneakers on and go for a run down to his place. So it just so happened, he's like, why don't you come in and try a song? And, okay, sure. Baby, look at me and tell me. Just before we watch the video, how did this particular song come about for you? Was it your idea and, and what is like, you know, what, what's your favourite thing about it? I love this song. I mean, it's classic 80s and that was my era. <laughs> and so Darren always just throws suggestions at me and I'll throw suggestions at him and he'll be like, nah, hate it, yep, love it, 
well, let's do that one. And so it's a bit of back and forth. But when he said, hey, I reckon you should do fame, I was instantly, <laughs> yes, because uh, probably about 10 years ago, I was in a musical production of Fame and I went for the main role, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> but I got the role of Miss... This is how much I care about the show. I actually forgot the character's name, but the ballet teacher. So, so kind of like your comeuppance, being able to sing this. I know. I was like, there, I got the song. <laughs> when you least expect it, your uppance will come. No, the girl actually who got that role is amazing. Um, but it was just fun for me to get to do this song in the studio with the Sing It Live crew. That was great. And so when we recorded it, what was the process like for you in comparison to other ones? Was there any difference? or uh, The process for me was to try really hard not to do the choreography. <laughs> Don't dance, Chloe. Keep it contained. No. I Look, it does go quite high at the end, so I just have to warm up my voice, my voice, my voice. And what was the process? Just make sure I get the lyrics right. Yeah, yeah. That dancing thing, that's an interesting one, hey, because, like, for me, I feel like that with you, you know, we've only met each other through this, but I feel like that we have this, like, kindred spirit thing. Yeah. I have to tell myself, like, oh, wait, it's a small room. It's a small room. It's a small world after all. I'm used to stages. I've always been on a stage as, you know, musical theatre productions, big corporate shows or big performances. So I've always had learnt how to be quite big. Music, it runs in my veins, so it excites me a lot. I like it a lot. There's a lot of energy and it's hard to contain it. So I'm not always like this, but just with, with good music, it's pretty exciting. So to contain it in a room is, is a different skill. So singing in a studio and then singing for it in front of a camera. Those are skills that I've had to learn over the years. Yeah, so by the time I got into Sing It Live into that studio, it wasn't a complete culture shock for me, but I still needed to kind of remember this is camera, not 800 people. <laughs> I just had the weirdest flashback. I'll probably um, never stop apologising to you for that time that we did, I think it was the Christmas song, the Mariah Carey <laughs> one. And All Marcus, I want for Christmas. Yeah, I think it was then. We were right, basically right next to each other and you yeah. whacked my guitar and had a really sore wrist for a while. Oh, yeah, I did. It, you actually, well, I threw my hand into your space and we were just got excited and you, the guitar bit, what was that bit called? The, the like a tuning peg? Those tuning pegs hit me right in that spot there and got a nerve and it sort of went numb for a few days. It was fun. Rock and roll. It was so rock and roll. But then didn't we do another song where we kicked each other? <laughs> yes. Or something? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was the end moment. We the just... end moment where we both kicked with the same leg. We're like, bang. Yeah. So we, we've got to. <laughs> to coordinate our excitement. <laughs> so I think successfully this song is the first time that we didn't collide with each other. Although I did touch your shoulder and keep you at bay. <laughs> ah, right. Yeah, that's probably okay. No, I, that wasn't to keep you at bay. That was just, that was the the full immersion of loving the song and the people around me, you know. Sweet. So I reckon this is the time that we watch it. And oh, heck. Yeah, what do you reckon? Should we give it a crack? Let's do it. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn how to fly high. I feel it coming together. I 
nice is that bass and vocal thing? Uh, I love, I love Dar- um, Damien's bass. I always ask for him really loud in my ears. Look at me, I'm like trying so hard to do more musical theatre. <laughs> What was that? The backing vocals sound really good. Yeah. Um. If you watch me, look at my face. Look at where I'm looking. That's a guy that doesn't know the words <laughs> and has his secret cheat sheet. I may have looked at it a couple of times. Ah, right. Yeah. The the backing vocals, though. You're right. Yeah. It's. Uh, yeah. It sounds really good. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's so many of you. Well, yeah, that's it. How many of there is One, two, five three, of us three. singing, including you? So yes. plus four of us. So you got Mario on the drums. What a legend! Mario. And drumming. What a legend. Theatre's coming out. So that musical theatre thing that you're talking about, Chloe, and I'm just going to reiterate the the small proximity that we have. Yes. I'm watching this and I'm like, wow, like you, you're going off and I'm next to you sort of and i feel like that i almost didn't really do anything in the room because that camera it's really small and so you know if we were doing that exact same song on a really big stage we'd probably be working what 15 times as hard oh yeah yeah it's all in the face as well and the everything is just bigger and extends out yeah but i feel like i sometimes i watch myself and hate myself because I'm like, just tone it down, Chloe. <laughs> Too much. And what are you thinking now? <laughs> oh, tone it down. <laughs> the song's great and I'm just getting into it. So uh, we'll see how we go in the bridge part. Oh, yeah. Later. All right, well, let's, let's go to there. Just too excited at this stage to bring it back together. I think I was there with you. I was. Yeah, it got pretty elevated, didn't it? Because we're yeah. in the key change and it's getting all exciting and, and Jan's doing his thing. Yeah. It sounded really great. And just to have Nikki, because Nikki and I hadn't seen each other for a few months, actually, which we both just got gotten quite busy with our lives and jobs and families. So just to see each other again, we had to focus, okay, we're here to do a song, not to catch up, but any right. moment we need to turn around and her and I, we can't we can't be serious in the same space. 
Well, it is a fun song to do that. And I did notice that you were out the back having a nice old chin wag. And then when I was leaving, I was waving, bye, girls. You're still there chatting at the cars. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. So after a studio session, you know, everyone's left and we're still at the car talking for ages and ages. And then, and then I realise I'm late to pick up my girls from school. So see you, Nikki. Or sometimes we'll get in the car and then get on the phone and then keep talking. <laughs> oh, just to keep okay. Oh, that's lovely. Look at you. Yeah, so, I mean, that moment was pretty big. Uh, I feel like I was a bit over the top there, but I didn't mean to be in the moment. I was just in the moment. I don't see it the way that you're seeing it at all. I see these people, they're, they're having some fun playing together. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're having fun. Yeah, and the way that you're talking about it, like with your friendship with Nikki, it's like, that's just what's coming through you know it's hard to fake that you can fake it where you're trying to look like oh having a good time but you're yeah, not yeah. genuinely doing that you know mm. oh, good as long as it comes across as it's what, what we're doing sometimes we do forget the camera is actually there so <laughs> and there's always a time and place for your performances and what you who your audience is what stage you're on so it's, yeah we don't always get up on stage and be silly it's just I can't help it with Nikki in the room. Totally. Um, well, should we watch the end? Yeah, go for it. Go to the end. Because this is the key change chorus where mm -hmm. it's, it's up a, a full tone. Do you really notice it in your voice, like it, way, way, way it feels or the way that it sounds? Actually, the, well, the key change, it, it excites me. So my voice sort of, I feel like it actually opens up a little bit more um, and then I kind of get a bit more improvisational with my voice so that's that's just me kind of feeling the tune and getting a bit sort of uh, caught up in it so I don't mind going up higher I just hope I don't sound too screechy <laughs> Guys! like are you a soprano by definition with your range or you're not sure no I definitely don't sing low very well um but I think alto up I, I'm pretty comfortable with all of it. Yeah, the reason why I ask is because you said, I hope I don't sound too screechy up top, whereas I've never, like, my ears never have the, the sound of your voice coming in and going like, oh, well, that sounds screechy. It sounds, okay, like, you, it, it sounds like you've got, like, a really good handle on singing all of those high yeah, notes. Yeah, okay. Well, um, I mean, there's different voices that you can use, like you've got your head voice, you've got your mix voice. Sometimes when you sing in that mixed tone, it does sound to start to sound a little bit twangy, like meh. <laughs> mm. And then you've got your belting range, and so it depends on how warmed up you are or how later in the day it is. Your vocal cords just get thicker and and um, you, I can really belt. So usually if I'm doing a show late at night and I've sung for three hours, by the end I can sing massive power ballads and just be woo, 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 woo. <laughs> And sometimes I sing at live clips are in the morning. So... You know, I'm, I'm warming up during school preparations and getting the kids to school in the car and I get them to warm up with me, but it's, it's not always the same. So I'm just conscious that sometimes in these Sing It Live videos, I might sound a little bit like I'm pushing a bit at the top. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. So what type of voice quality would you be using in this chorus? Would this be a full belt by now? Yeah, uh, it is a full belt. It's probably not as warm and full as it is if it was to be at 9.30 at night. Right. After singing for three hours. Yeah. Um, it, it is like 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have a listen. That was cool. I remember now we can hear you just at the end go, yes, and you started jumping up and down going, that was the one because we took – how many takes was it? Five? I reckon that was our fourth one because we did three before, but we were also working the song out as we were going, and so usually we work it out a couple of times and then press record, but this time because we had to do 
the two songs and um, lunch was waiting. So Darren's like, just press record and we'll work it out. So the first two songs we were still stuffing it up a little bit and I was singing some weird lyrics. (laughs) And then we did the third one and then we were like, yeah, that's cool. So we all started to pack up and started to go upstairs and Darren had already switched the thing off and Mario's like, actually, I I did something wrong. Can we do it again? So I thought, oh, whatever. The funny thing is, is I I thought that was just a throwaway take and then it ended up being decent and I got my lyrics. I think I got them correct. So I'm like, that's the one. (laughs) Yeah, so my vocal on that last take was better and my guitar was better on the second to last one, so I was like, oh, uh, I know. And that's the, that's the thing about it, it being live, and Darren wanting it to keep to keep it fairly authentic is, mm, yeah, which one do you take? And so someone might have done their best take on take two, and someone does their worst on take, you know. So it's just you take yeah. what you got. Yeah. <laughs> So, Chloe, thank you so much for having a good, fun tune run with me and, and watching this back. Overall, are you when you watch it, are you happy? Is it going to be out there into the public eyes and you going, all right? Yeah, I think so. There is, I mean, there's sometimes when I watch it back on the Saturday morning, well, Saturday morning for us, Friday night for some people across the seas, And you watch it for the first time with everybody else and I'm like, oh, my gosh, no, I sound terrible or I hate that bit or why did I do that or why did I wear that? And then all these beautiful comments start coming through and so it's it's a weird, it is a weird feeling watching it at the same time as everybody else for the first time and sometimes it's a bit of a self-loathing session. Everyone's their own worst critics. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, so, Chloe, those crazy um, amounts of things that you have to do in your life, you mentioned a few of them. Um, is yes. there something that you would like to plug while we're here? Is there, like if people are interested? So everything at the moment is Adelaide-based. So if you're from Adelaide and, and you live here or you're going to be in Adelaide during July, we do have a show that I'm producing called Naughty Girl. It's not naughty. It's actually a family-friendly show. It's naughty spelt N-O-U-G-H-T-I-E. So all the songs of the Naughties, 2000 to 2010. So I've kind of produced a show where all the songs move into each other and there's dances and costumes and it's cool. It's fun. Excellent. And when is that? That's July 15 and July 23. So there's only two shows, but there's there's a lot of work to do. The festival area is outdoors, so Gluttony are are putting it on. So they bring their big uh, concert tents and they've got their stalls and their food carts and and it's all very fun and festival-like. So I'm in one of the big tents there called the Mayworth, which is on Collie Reserve. So you know how outside the beach they've got the beach house and then that grassed area? Yeah. That whole thing's going to be Gluttony. On a smaller scale. Fantastic. That's yeah. Cool. Hopefully I don't have a gig and I can come along and watch. Yeah, and- well, it's Saturday night, 7.30, so that might be in gig time. And then the second one's on a Sunday at 6 p.m. It's a family-friendly show, despite the name. Excellent. All right, well, all the best. Thank you so much for chatting. Um, Pleasure. I'm sure I'll see you at another Sing It Live thing, yeah? Yeah, I'm sure we'll get called up and Darren will be like, hey... What do you think of this song? Okay. Thank you so much to Chloe Castledine for hanging out with me and having a good chat about the song Fame. I hope that you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments below, what did you actually find interesting about this behind the scenes chit chatter? And also, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Sing It Live channel here on YouTube. And while I'm at it, this Crafty Music Tips YouTube channel has a bunch of different music-related videos that will give you a hand in your journey, no matter what it is that you're into, if you play music or just are a music enjoyer. Enjoyer. That's a good word. I like it. All right, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I'll see you in another one of the Crafty Music Tips videos here on the YouTube channel really soon. Wherever you are, take care. Keep rocking. I'll see you soon.